Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to cut any fight on this UFC roster specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw towels after blocking shots. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Costa gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Back and forth we go. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Huge shot there. Nice hook lands. Oh, beautiful level change. That gets back up again. Nice move. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Got the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown. Another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. He's very tricky to hold that body seat. Lands the right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Huge block there. Nice body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Leg kick checked by Costa. Both fighters throwing heat now. Effective punch there by Costa. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice right hand, John. Right hand upstairs. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab. Oh, he hurt him! Oh, tagged him with that. Oh! He's got a pressure. He's got a Oh, he might be out. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Final seconds of round one. Oh! Huge right hand! It's the end of the round.
offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Right. That was awesome. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. Ooh, big shot land. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Set your body off. Blocks that strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh! He's all over. that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 35 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Paolo the Eraser. All right, so there he is.